Hello world, and welcome back to another episode of the Mystical Adventure. Uh, I've touched up the uh, thumbnails for the item, for my uh, videos, so they should look a little bit better, and I've officially titled it Mystical Adventure. So, in the spirit of getting a little bit more organized, I've uh, created a clipboard with what we want to get accomplished here. Uh, today, what we want to do is get that celestial prism to auto switch between day and night, and I've got all of the items ready to go. I'd actually built it once already and realized the audio on my on the video was pretty terrible, so I decided I'd just break it down and redo it. Uh, the second task is uh, for the black arm. We want to get cursed earth created, so we're going to go ahead and activate a sigil of division. Uh, third task. We'll see, hopefully we don't get murdered, but we're going to try and murder the Arcane Guardian. And the last task that I'd like to get accomplished this episode is to place down some levators where we want to get the Thomcraft lab set up. I've got two made. Might want to make a, another one. Uh, maybe 30 blocks high. Each levator will propel you up 10 blocks, so I'm thinking 30 blocks is a good height. Uh, up around level 90 or so. So, here with our Celestial Prism. So, this design is actually from a, a user on the vagram.com community forum site. Uh, his name is Landstrider, and I'll post a link to his, his demonstration of it. But uh, we're going to go ahead and build it, and we need some Block breakers, some block placers, uh, repeaters, pulse formers, and knot gates, as well as some transport pipes, some buildcraft transport pipes. I had originally tried this with item item ducts. It did not work. Uh, Ender IO conduit. I I haven't tested because you actually need to place stuff on top of the pipe, which means you also need sods. And I actually did have to create an assembly table and a laser just to do this. So, uh, Ender IO might work, but I didn't have a painter. Might have been worth it to try it, but uh, this all works. And you need some daylight sensors. So, if I hadn't put the block breaker down here, I'll, I'll do this. It'll be a nice, easy. All right, there you go. Now you can pause the video and see what you need to do this. You also need, of course, the moonstone and the diamond, but there you go. All right, let's get started. So we need a breaker on each of these guys. Like so. And then we need placers. All right, now we need pipes. And we need a way to get up there. Let me grab some material. And let's lay down our blocks. All right. So starting with our daylight sensor. I guess I should probably finish off the top here. Uh-oh. Ah. I do not like build craft pipes. Not at all. All right. Placed. Placed. So now we're going to need repeaters. And I think you want to stand facing the block placer like such. And then you want this on two ticks. There we go. And then we need our pulse formers. Now I gotta remember. So that's gonna be in other way. Like this. So this is gonna go in, out, in, out. So 
and I just did that wrong again. Blast. N, N. And then we want to grab our red alloy. Place one in each. And in here, and now, well, let me finish this and I'll show you the important part. So if you don't put that piece of redstone there, this system will just basically spit out the block it breaks and it won't, uh, it won't work quite right. So make sure you put that piece there. So now, let's do the bottom portion. And I wonder if I should have placed this daylight sensor first. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, target target this middle block. Yeah, you're going to have a hard time. I don't even know if you can target the celestial prism itself. But All right, so now we need our knot gates. And these ones you want to target across the block across because there's your in. And I messed this up a couple times when I did it last time. Probably a good thing that uh, that I redo this. That way it's not as hard to follow. So now our repeaters, we want to do the same thing. So, yeah, face the placer and put it down. There we go. And now we need pulse formers. So, let's see, this is in, this is out, um, and that's backwards. Like that. And these should all be on two ticks as well. This is basically the inverse of the top one that'll do the other side of it. So one will fire at day and one will fire at night. So let's see, where were we? Okay, so this is in, that's out. In, out. And that's the wrong way again. Like that. Like that. I believe this is all right. Okay, so now we should go like that. And like that, and make sure you got that piece of redstone there. It'll fail the other way. Over there. Oh, dang it. I wasn't ready for that. So that means we probably got... Well, none of them dropped, so that's a good sign that we at least got that portion right. So you see our block of diamond went in here, and it's ready to be placed when it goes back to... Uh, looks like we're at day, so I'm going to have to switch that around. Yeah. Okay, so now we just need to take that out of there and put in our moonstone. Like that. Right there. Right there. All right. And let's button this up. Okay. So there we go. That's our that's our automatic day night celestial prism. So this guy should continue working regardless. And if you notice here I set up a portal and this is part of the reason why we need that day night. It's uh it chews up a lot of you know Ethereum. So actually it doesn't really take that much when you teleport because I only have it set up over there. But it definitely needs a steady supply in order to get filled up uh initially. So let's see. Done. That was easy. All right, so now the activating the sigil is going to be a little more, a little more involved. So there's a, a safe way to do this, and I'm 
thinking maybe we want to do it. I've already got my Silk Touch shovel. And as you can see, I expanded this out. Oh, that's right. I, uh, I did do a little bit of flickers. I went and set up a... Um, there was like a 4x4 four four square of ocean that I just happened to find close to the coast. So, right here. This is where I caught some water uh, flickers. I want to call them Ruinies for some reason if you've played... Uh, played that game and I managed to make the nature's bounty now when I was looking at it originally I had thought you needed both the focus as well as an additional uh, flicker in order to do this but you just need the the flicker focus that counts as flickers so uh, this whole place is now is now got the nature's bounty effect I made some more lily pads and I going to surround this with lily pads as well. This stuff grows insanely fast, so this might be not as effective as the other ones, but this will grow up pretty quick. So we need to get golems on here. So looking at the list, the golems are now are optional on the list depending on how much time we have. We might get to the golems next time. But yeah, so we want to activate a sigil and actually you can from what I've seen you can activate multiple sigils at the same time so if we just take both of these the same activation ritual will activate all the all of them in our my inventory so so we're gonna need some fences we're gonna need enchanting table and I have I have some enchanting tables I picked up from the dungeon the question is, am I going to be able to find them? Where are they? Whoops. Now, I know I have them somewhere. I don't really want to make more. Oh, this is getting terrible. I really need to expand that AE network. Ah, uh, well, we're going to need a Force Flax to capture a sacrifice in, so let's do that. Uh, is it in... No. 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 Ah. Uh. I know for a fact I had three of them. Unless I left them up at the... No. Yeah, there's my assembly table. Oh, word of advice. Don't try to use a cardboard box to move the keystone. Um, it will not preserve the Ethereum in it. So do not, do not do that, thinking you're going to be able to save that. <clears throat> it does take quite a bit of Ethereum to fill up. So here's my arcane levitors we're going to need. So let's stick that in there. And fences. I'm not sure how big of an area it will try to activate. What I think we'll do is go over some water, maybe over by my flicker, my water flicker area, and set down an area of dirt to do this with. Uh, we're gonna need. Oh, I saw it. Yes, there it is. All right. Now we're in business. Um, <laughs> gonna need some cobblestone. I'm gonna need some dirt. Just in case. Uh, let's grab some more cobble just in case. All right. So let's capture a sacrifice, and hopefully I'll remember all the bits and pieces to do this. I've only ever activated one once before, so hey, there's a pig. We are in business. There we go, bottled pig. Okay, so we can go get set up. 
I'm also going to need to make dark glass, so depending on how much I need, maybe we'll, maybe I'll do the dark glass off camera, get that set up. There's, there's going to be our battle zone here for the Arcane Guardian, and that's the, I don't know, Knowledge Shrine or whatever, so we, all we have to do is throw an Arcane Essence in here, and we're good to go, and then this is made with three bookshelves, three bookshelves, a lectern with an arcane com compendium, compendium, and iron inlays, a circle of iron inlays. Um, I put it in a, a house because I'm thinking if we can keep them close, this guy can probably rip through them, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, and over here is my flicker spot. And I, I splurged on some diamonds, and I don't, I don't know. I probably didn't have to do that at all, but yeah. So it, it keeps them contained. You can catch them pretty easy. Uh, water and lightning tend to pop up here. Now, if I wanted to do the sigil of butchery, I'd probably need, I'd need fire. I don't know if you can set up a light or a celestial prism in the nether. Maybe that might be a good place to find fire fire flickers but uh, so let's use this guy as a platform and head out this way so let's just make a safety zone now let's make it nine by nine that's typically six Seven, eight, nine. That's typically the uh, measurements for things in Minecraft spawners need a nine by nine zone and two, three, four. So one there's one, two, three, four. Okay. I don't know if I brought enough cobblestone. Maybe I didn't bring enough fences. We'll see. Need to uh, hopefully get this banged out before nighttime. Otherwise, we're going to have to wait till the next next midnight. That. Yeah. Oh, hey, I do have more cobblestone. How about that? I am prepared today. I I intend to accomplish something in the half hour, hour, however long we end up going. <laughs> I really don't intend for the uh, episodes to go as long as they do, but, you know, when you want to get something done, sometimes that happens. It's also a little challenging to decide what, what you want to do off camera and make sure that you do do the interesting stuff on camera. It's a little hard to kind of slow yourself down to, you know, not do a bunch of stuff and not have it filmed. Oh, we're running out of time, I think. Um, there's the middle. And let's lay that down. Now we need the fences. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough fences. Maybe we just risk it. This will at least allow our sacrifice to not escape. It will also pen us in so that we can't get away from all the mobs. Yeah. Alright, well, I tried to do the easy way, but 
That's not gonna happen. Hi, Piggy. You'll be today's meal. Let's see, altar can see the moon. Oh, a redstone signal. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. Well, oh, crap. I don't know that we can make it all the way back before midnight. Maybe we can. Run, run, run! If I built bridges, this would not be happening. Come on. Well, hey, we can go see if our moonstone's there. Well, let's not take the time. Could be losing diamond blocks, though, if that didn't work right. Come on. I don't know if that needs to be activated. Might be wasting time. Lover, lover, lover. Eh, let's risk it. Worst case, we'll have to wait until tomorrow and we can go accomplish a few other things. Moon's not up there yet. Well, it's a good thing I have these super fast boots, right? Get back and forth quickly. If only they had the swim speed boost on them. And we're back. Alright, so let's lay down the redstone. And dynamic lights got re enabled. I'm going to have to turn that off. Too early. Alright, so we are set. And now we just play the waiting game. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, let's see. So yeah, Murder Arcane Guardian, Place Levators. So looks like we got a little bit more time. I was thinking right here over some water, but I'm not I'm not sure if we're gonna have enough room. Maybe up maybe up here. Or maybe down here, I'm not sure. So maybe just south of this. Maybe we'll try down here. For placing the Thumbcraft lab. And we'll wait. Come here. Get you closer. And we're going to have to be on this shovel to get that earth as quick as possible. Almost. <laughs> Maybe I'll just fast forward through this until it gets nighttime. Oh, well, oh, we can do it. Play some murder. Okay. Oh, Ender caught. All right. Well, that wasn't so bad. As long as you prepare, I suppose, you're fine. First time I did this, I did it on top of a bunch of dirt. <laughs> and it got real messy real quick. Yeah. Yeah, come get some. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Let's take that back. And... 
we'll leave this little structure out here just in case we need it in the future. So cursed earth has been retrieved. So we can mark that off our list. And it looks like we might actually have some time whether we want to go through the crafting of the dark glass and actually get that black arm up and running or not. Um, for now, <clears throat> let's go do some battle with the Arcane Guardian. Oh, I forgot to uh, show this as well. My enchanting area. So basically how this works is you create your enchanted plates here, and I've got some back there. Maybe we'll add that to the list. I'll <clears throat> go through this. But you make your enchanted plates here, and it takes levels to do so. And then you can use your printing press to copy the enchantment that you made over here onto books. Uh, under normal circumstances, a, an enchanted plate can only last four, four books. But with an arcane reconstructor, you can actually repair the plate. So basically, you never have to spend that spend that cash again. Oh yeah, it looks like the moonstones are on there, so good to go because it's charging here. Um, and then an auto anvil, basically, you, it'll suck up this liquid XP automatically, so you don't have to like keep drinking it. So let's come over here and just. So yeah, we got we got our moonstones back. So this is working. This will now automatically switch it between day and night. There is a there is a lag period between when this celestial prism stops working and the daylight sensor kicks off. So there's there's a brief window there where it won't be producing anything. Uh, let's put our Cursed Earth in here. That's where we're using it. There we go. And anything else I can put in here. And we have our activated, so now we could go to the deep dark if we wanted to. Well, I'd have to make uh, compressed cobblestone. That would be a challenge without something like a quarry or a digital miner. Uh, maybe we can use the... I forget what the Thomcraft did. Mining thing is called. Uh, maybe we'll give that a try. So let's put our inventory back. And cobblestone. Oh, I got a lot of ender pearls. If you'll notice, I got some wither skull, uh, wither skeleton skulls, thanks to this guy. Um, it is a cleaver, and I put a bunch of beheading on there, which is basically a an ender pearl and a block of obsidian. I used uh, amordine, the same thing we used on here, but I also used some seracluse for the plate, and that gives slowness. So this guy swings pretty slow, but I'll get the life steal and I'll inflict slowness on them. So that should that does help with compensating for the slowness of it. But I can get a wither skeleton skull. I got three out of four of them I killed, so it it works pretty good. Um, I need one more, and I can make a magic crop of it. But I don't know. Maybe we're, we'll have to see how the uh, I think it's a wrath cage. From Thomcraft works uh, as far as a spawner. So, all right, so we're ready to go. Let's get reconfigured and go grab an arcane essence and see if we can see if we can get that arcane guardian knocked out. Uh, he's supposed to be one of the tougher ones, so I hope we're not. I should probably really. Throw everything that I don't want to lose in here. 
just in case. I really need my Thomcraft lab because this guy takes up takes up space. Let's just go like this. Okay. Now we are prepared. So yeah, I'm going to have to build a bridge. Maybe... I mean, that looks like a nice open area that's begging for a building. Hmm. Could also put it out here, but that's outside the magical forest. I don't know. Alright, anyway. Um... Let's do it. Uh, okay, that building is insufficient for containment. Creepy sounds. Ah. Uh, come here. Ow. Hey. Stop healing. Uh, getting thrown back here. There you are. Ouch. Uh, eat, eat fire. Oh, and by the way, this is, I did get the ignite on it, but if obviously he's on water, he's not going to ignite, so. And I'm building a lot of burnout, so. Seems to work better anyway. Uh, so far, this doesn't seem particularly dangerous. Uh, Youch. Maybe because I have healing on here? Ooh. Water's working against me as well. Oh, yeah. This guy's. You're not so tough. Whoa. Ouch. Yeah, that's right. And that's what I'm looking for. Yes, the arcane spellbook. So, if I take my spells out of here and stick them in here, it's supposed to reduce Reduce the amount of mana, I believe, and burnout that's required, as well as making it more powerful. So, yum, yum, yum. Green skill orbs. So, I guess we could farm this guy for green skill orbs, skill orbs at this point. So, yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't dangerous. All that build up for nothing. It's like the dungeon all over again. And I mean we're moving we're moving right along. I'm accomplishing a lot today. I feel proud. Um, all right, so let's grab all my stuff back. Seemed excessive to be prepared for it. And let's see what's on our list as well. I made one of these miniature are these yellow heart canisters, but they take uh, golden apples, not the normal golden apple, but the the one that takes eight gold blocks, and I don't have a whole lot of gold blocks to spare, so you have to hold on to that for later. Uh, what else did I need? Let's grab my buckets back out. My packs and all my tools. And reconfigure. X. Don't need that shovel right now. Okay, so. Murdered an arcane guardian. So now that leaves us at deciding where we want to place our levators. So, what do I need to finish one of these guys? Uh, how about my 
I'm an Amakan. All right. How did I make these? Ah, oh, I didn't want the research note. I need some iron. Okay. Let's make sure we don't have any. Oh, hey. Again, I'm ahead of the game. Awesome. There we go. Alright, so now we have three. That'll get us plenty high. Now I have an angel block. We'll need that. Uh, we'll actually need some stuff to put down for land. Where were the rest of those? Here we go. Uh, so let's grab, I guess we can just grab some dirt for now and some cobblestone. Um, get the platform made. Maybe a gateway up to it. Guess I shouldn't have put all that back. Let's see what our fish traps. I actually got the fish traps dumping down here now. Um, I could use ink. Ooh, restoration too. Ooh, soul stealer. Ooh. We can get going with uh, soul shards. Efficiency 4, not bad. I need to get some of these books that have multiple enchants on them split out into separate books. The only way I know to do that is with a... Uh, auto disenchanter. So maybe maybe I'll get one of those set up. Ooh, soulbound. I could use that. Well, we had the ooh treasure too. That's uh, that would go good on some of the wand focuses. Feather falling four. Yep. Okay, so let's take as a demonstration. Where is it? Efficiency 4. We definitely want that guy because we can put it on the Thomcraft tools and perhaps retire our slightly techie uh, tools and switch them out for Thomcraft. So I do like the lumber axe. I don't know. So if we put the enchanted book here and I believe we need 40 levels, so let's just suck some out of here. And shift, right click, and you get your enchanted plate. Now what's back here are these print, pet, print press, chase. I just go back there. If I had a, a reading enchantment on my helmet, or I had one of the bibliocraft, uh, the monocle or the reading glasses or whatever, I'd be able to see that better. So, um, well, let's set it in here. Let's make a book. Uh, so, basically, how this guy works is the enchanting plate goes in here, but you also need ink, and it's already in here. So, let me. So, as you can see, this will not work with um, dye trees. It will not work with black dye trees. So, you want to put your ink on the plate in the back. Sometimes it's easier to stand up there. There we go. And then you take your enchanted plate, stick it in there, and grab a book, place it on the left side, and this guy will get going. Do, do, do. And there you go, there's your copied book. So now I have an efficiency four book. And I really need a chest or some shelves in here. That'd be nice. Anyway. Oh, dang it. Misclick. So you can see how the plate's damaged now. You can take it and... Is this guy not repairing? Repair my plate. I wonder if it, it must have to be up to a certain percentage before it starts doing that. 
Anyway, you can use it to repair this, this armor, the mob strap, and then you can melt it down into ingots. So, useful way to get a few extra resources. Let me put that away. All right, so on to our next goal. Let's find where we want to put our lab. Now, this place looked nice. Um, let's go down south and check this spot out. Because I need space to do this stuff in. It's getting a little cramped. Hmm. How about some pain? Pain. Oh, look at that burnout. Practically zero. Full time. Alright, so that is good. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe right here. In this general area we can build up into hmm. There you go. Burn, baby. Burn. Yeah. The smell of burning rotten flesh in the morning. Hmm. Well, we could also set up kind of like, kind of like that. Let's see. I probably want our angel block so we can set it right in the water. Whoa, I wanted to go on top of the lily pad, on top of... Ah! Alright, let's see. So, I'm trying to think of the layout here. It would be nice to have some sort of path running between things. Okay, well, we can make do. Um, so... No, I didn't want you to go there. Let's try right here. All right, so now if you stack these, it becomes more powerful. So there we go. And up we go. This will be extremely dangerous. Hmm. Yeah, the tree might be in the way unless we go higher. Or over that way more. Well, let's go. Let's go that way some more with it. There we go. Now, oh, you know what? It's actually pretty nice to be over the water with this. <clears throat> let's try an X. Whoa. Stop that. Okay, so further this way. What we want to do is because I'm the lobes of this thing, I want some openings for it to go through. Um, that looks good. That's probably okay. Let's do that. So, alright, and up we go. So we want a block right above our head at the top. Mm. Let's do this. We want to place this a little bit before we get to max height, maybe right there. And then build up. Hey, now. Ouch. Thank you. Yeah, this is going to be tricky unless we have some sort of pipe or something. Which, not out of the question. Um, maybe one more block. 
Yeah, that's probably good. So, place our little. All right. So we want one, two. There we go. I should have brought a brought a block of glowstone. That might have been smart. There we go. All right. Let's get rid of the ugly down there. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, ouch. Stupid lily pad. Ah, uh, okay. Well, we'll do this. Stop it. That's going to be the challenge with these uh, levators, but I wanted to use them since it's a Thomcraft lab. We're going to want to do Thomcraft things. There we go. All right, so let's make a nice little uh, entryway garden, I suppose. And I'll gussy this up off camera, but let's do let's do a nine by nine. So two, three, four, three, four. Why not? There we go. Put some silverwood trees, maybe, or something. Make it look nice. Um. All right, well, that is that bit. Levators. <clears throat> All right, so I guess our optional stuff would be to hit up the straw golem and a stone golem. So let's take a look here and see what we need to do. Straw golem. I want a straw golem for the harvesting because they're fast. And I want a. Oh, I don't have stone golem purchased. I wanted stone golem because they have more strength. Maybe we'll do. Hmm. Carry limit eight. Maybe we'll do clay golems. Or maybe I can get enough modus to make that. But let's see. So we need a great wood log. We need modus, humanus, and spiritus. I know spiritus is soul sand, and there's not many other things that provide it. So they changed these in Thomcraft 4, which is pretty nice. If you hit shift, you'll descend. So you don't, no more, you don't have to set up two sets of them anymore. Um, one to go up and one to go down, which is it's pretty nice. I don't know. Maybe we want to go more blocks up. I don't know. I'll decide between episodes what I want to do there. So let's go back to the hut. Hey, let's use our teleport. I'm going to need to make some keystones when I start getting more than the two gateways because what happens is this will just pick one at random unless you use a keystone which basically codes it to a specific uh, portal so see if you shift right click you can put stuff in here to identify this portal and I don't know I think you need focuses but there we go and we're here I want to move this in here but I think that means I'm gonna to have to take to take my crafting terminal and move it over here so that way I have a wall open, but soul sand. So we're gonna need four of those. And let me just put the cobblestone in here. Alright, so Modus. 
this. Um, boat and Humanus. Hmm. What has Humanus? Anything, anything I know of. You know what? The book often tells us. I don't know why I spend my time doing that. Right here. Ah, zombie flesh. Good enough. So we're going to need four. And modus. Um, boats. No boats do. I don't know about... Maybe levers do. Uh, let's use my copious amounts of oak wood. And where'd it go? Here we go. Stop that. Oops. And let's scan it just to make sure I remember right. Huh. It does not have modus. Um, doors? Yes, so four doors would work. <clears throat> All right, so we have our Spiritus Humanus. There we go, and now we need a straw. Bale of straw. There it is. All right, so we should be good to, for the straw golem. We're going to need an order core, though, as well. Um, that's pretty easy. I might have some back up there. I'm also going to need to make the bell. Another quartz and a stick. All right. And we need to purchase a stone golem. We need a core for gather, uh, which is going to take some clay bricks. Let's use the sag mill. Or this guy here. There we go. And nitor. We're going to need a gather and a harvest. Okay. That'll be enough for that. Let's get the straw golem made at least. So we want our soul sand, rotten flesh, doors. There's our straw golem. So, uh, let's not mark that finished. We need to make the harvest core still. Uh, I think I have one night or left. And my wand. So there's that golem core. I guess we're doing the harvest one first. Ooh. Um, I think I'm going to need some sickles for that. And. Alright. Alright, sorry about the, uh, the little bit of a hiccup there. Uh, I did go and grab the stuff I needed for that core, so let's go ahead and make that gather core. So we need five of the uh, five hoes and some wheat. So let's toss that in there. 
There we go. Okay. So now we need the order core for him to be able to replant. And that's going to take gold nuggets and an order shard. All right. And my shards are now over here. So, one of those. Alrighty, so now we've got our harvesting going on. So, I really wanted a stone golem for this, so let's get eight modus. Where's that at? So, uh oh. Aranacle, okay. Alright. There we go. So we need the same stuff, but throw a stone brick in. So I have to remember what we used for all that. We need soul sand for sure. Uh, actually, we could check, check something off now. There we go. And we'll get our stone golem and get him set up on this chest here. I'm going to have to move this around so it's actually going in something. Uh, so, uh, zombie flesh, soul sand. There's four. Now I forget what we used for modus. It was a little while ago for you guys, but uh, it's actually quite a bit later for me. Um, right, we want to look here. Oh, I think we used doors. Maybe there's something better. Trap doors. Well. <clears throat> What do trapdoors bring to the table? Also one. Ah, but no machina, so I guess we'll use trapdoors. And we need four, five. Okay, and then we need a stone brick. Might have stone bricks back up there. Nope. Okay, so let's go check up top. I was building stuff out of stone bricks, so I believe I have some laying around somewhere. Skeleton. Oh, my crucible's tainted. No more. There we go. So a stone brick. Mm. Oh, this isn't looking good. Ah, but I have some stone. Okay, so there we go. Uh, is it five or four? Let's make sure. Golems, stone, four, okay, it's stone brick. And, ow, eh, don't stand in it. Eh, where's my... Yeah, that's right. All right, so we want to throw in that that, that, and that. So there is our stone golem. Now we need our bell. So let's grab that. Where is my nether quartz? Hmm. 
man, I need to reduce the number of backpacks I have. This is starting to get ridiculous. There it is. And I believe it goes like that. And a stick. Which, of course, I don't have a stick. The most basic ingredient. Um, one, two. All right, hopefully that kind of stick works. And now we have our bell. Okay, so I think we have everything we need to go ahead and get this going. Now, the question I have is, are those essence berry bushes going to murder my golem? Let's find out. So there's him. Let's stick the order on him. And the harvest. I don't think the gather needs anything special. Uh, maybe we want to put him on top of there. Hmm. Sorry about that hiccup. All right, so it looks like I forgot to grab the stone, the uh, actual gather core. So let's go ahead and craft that up real quick. Uh, but I need some more nitor as well. Uh, taint. At one point, you couldn't place blocks over taint. I don't know when that changed. Oh, brother. I didn't want to do that. Shoot. Alright, well, we need another dirt. Do I have any dirt up here? Well, I know where we can dig some dirt. Alright, there's our dirt back. So we need to make some nitor as well. So I've got coal, torches, glowstone, and we just need that crucible to free up. wonder if I can evacuate it. Inventory is getting a bit of a mess now. Let's see, order can go. Okay, so my wand. Alright, now we should be able to cover that without it consuming our item. There we go. Ah. Wait for that to bubble. Let's see, we want to make our night tour first. There we go. There we go. Now we can make our core. Let's put that there. Okay, so now we need Terra and Lucrum. And... Alright, now we have all the pieces I believe that we need. And we should be... Good to go. So let's uh, let me grab another lily pad. I hope they don't fall through lily pads. <clears throat> and I put them over here. And all right. So let's put our straw golem in the middle. That's good. So he's got his order on there. And we want him to harvest. Uh, let's set down the gather golem first. Okay. Gather. 
All right, and harvest. Go for it. Go. Go. Uh, maybe they don't work on magic crops, which would be unfortunate because a harvester does. Oh, there we go. He's just stuck. Yeah, that works. We can upgrade him with the speed core, I think, is, and that would help out. And he needs some more perception to get out here, I think. Yeah, that guy needs more speed, or I'm going to need multiple gather golems. And he's not getting hurt by over there, that's great. Exactly what I want. All right, this is looking good. Yeah, automation. I wonder how far out that guy can get without perception. Yeah, he's going to have a hard time. He's not fast enough. We're going to need multiples. I wonder if I even need a stone golem. Maybe we just go with another straw golem. It looks like he's getting out here. And hello. All right, well. Yeah, that's, uh... That seems like it's all my goals I had for this episode. Uh, check them off. We even got the optional ones done. So between this episode and next, I believe I'll get this working more efficiently because it looks like we've got a lot of stuff being left around. And uh, go back up and I'll start working on the Bombcraft Labs and get some stuff moved up there. Uh, and Yeah, so I think that's that's a good place to stop today with uh, all our goals being accomplished. I like it. So have a good one, guys.